How to give dawah, calling others to Islam. Question. How should we call people to Islam? Summary of answer. Dawah or calling others to Islam is the best of deeds, because it involves guiding people to the straight path and to that which will bring them happiness in this world and in the hereafter. Answer. Praise be to Allah. Importance of following the path of Allah. Allah created man and caused him to dwell on this earth, but he did not forsake him. Rather he gave him what he needs of food, drink and clothing, and revealed to him throughout the ages a path to follow and be guided by. The interests and happiness of mankind at every time and in every place depend upon following the path of Allah and rejecting all others. And verily, this, i.e. Allah's commandments mentioned in the above two verses 151 and 152, is my straight path, so follow it, and follow not, other, paths. For they will separate you away from his path. This he has ordained for you that you may become al mudakal the pious, al 6-153, interpretation of the meaning. Say, O Messenger, to the people, come. I will read to you what Allah has made unlawful. He has made it unlawful that you associate any creation as partner to him, that you disobey your parents, for it is your duty to be good to them. That you kill your children due to poverty, as the people during the period of ignorance used to do, I provide for you and for them. He has also made it unlawful that you go near immoral acts, whether they are done openly or in secret. And that you kill the soul that Allah has prohibited you from killing, unless it is done rightfully, such as in the case of adultery and apostasy. He has instructed you with what was mentioned so that you understand Allah's instructions and prohibitions. He has prohibited you from becoming involved with the wealth of orphans, those who lose their father before maturity, until they became mature and are considered to be sensible. Unless you do so in a manner that brings benefit and an increase in that wealth. He has also prohibited you from giving short measure or weight, rather, it is necessary that you are fair and just when taking or giving anything in a purchase and sale transaction. He does not burden a soul more than it can bear, and you will not be taken to task for any increase or decrease in measure that is unintentional. He has, likewise, prohibited you from saying that which is false when relating an incident or giving testimony, displaying unfair preference to a relative or friend. He has, too, prohibited you from breaking Allah's pledge. If you make a pledge with Allah or in Allah's name, then such pacts must be fulfilled. Allah has instructed you with the above in the hope that you would ponder over the outcomes of your actions. He has prohibited you from following the paths of misguidance. You are required to follow Allah's straight path, in which there is no crookedness. The paths of misguidance will lead you far away from the path of truth. Allah instructs you to follow the straight path in the hope that you will become mindful of Him by fulfilling His instructions and staying away from His prohibition. Alanim 6 to 153. Islam is the last of the heavenly religions and the Quran is the last of the heavenly books. Muhammad, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, is the last of the prophets and messengers. Allah commanded him to convey this religion to all of mankind. This Quran has been revealed to me that I may therewith warn you and whomsoever it may reach. Alanim 619. Say, O Messenger, to the idolaters who deny you, which thing is greatest and most honored as a witness to my truthfulness. Say, Allah is the greatest and most honored witness to my truthfulness. He is a witness between you and me. He knows what I have brought to you and how you respond. Allah has revealed this Quran to me to warn you by it and to warn any human or jinn it reaches. You, O idolaters, believe that there are others worthy of worship together with Allah. Say, O Messenger, I do not bear witness to what you have acknowledged as it is false. Allah is only one God, He has no partner. I am free from all that you associate as partners with Him. Alanim 619. Allah sent His Messenger Muhammad, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, with Islam to all of mankind, as Allah says, interpretation of the meaning. Say, O Muhammad, O mankind! Verily, I am sent to you all as the Messenger of Allah, al Araf 7-158. Allah tells the Prophet, peace be upon him, to inform people that he is the Messenger of Allah to them all, both Arabs and non-Arabs. Allah alone controls the heavens and the earth. There is nothing worthy of worship other than him, glory be to him. He brings the dead to life, and causes what is alive to die. People should have faith in Allah and in Muhammad, peace be upon him, the Prophet, his Messenger, who cannot read or write, and who came only with what his Lord revealed to him. In order to guide them to what is good for them in this world and in the afterlife. al Araf 7-158. Dawah is the best of deeds. Dawah or calling others to Islam is the best of deeds, because it involves guiding people to the straight path and to that which will bring them happiness in this world and in the hereafter. And who is better in speech than he who, says, my Lord is Allah, believes in His oneness, and then stands firm, acts upon His order, and, invites, men, to Allah's, Islamic monotheism, and does righteous deeds, and says, I am one of the Muslims. Fusilat 4133, Interpretation of the Meaning
There is no one whose speech is better than the one who calls towards the oneness of Allah and acting upon his law, whilst doing good actions that please him, saying, Indeed, I am one of those who submit and humble myself to Allah. Indeed, whoever does all that is the one who is best in speech. Fusilat 4133. Dawah, the mission of prophets and messenger. Calling others to Islam is an honorable mission. This is the work of the prophets and messengers. The messenger, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, explained that his mission in life, and the mission of his followers, is to call people to Allah. Allah says, Interpretation of the Meaning. Say, O Muhammad, this is my way. I invite unto Allah, i.e. to the oneness of Allah, Islamic monotheism, with sure knowledge, I and whosoever follows me, also must invite others to Allah. i.e. to the oneness of Allah, Islamic monotheism with sure knowledge. And glorified and exalted be Allah, above all that they associate as partners with Him. And I am not of the mushrikun, polytheists, pagans, idolaters and disbelievers in the oneness of Allah. Those who worship others along with Allah or set up rivals or partners to Allah. Yusuf 12-108 Allah tells the Messenger, peace be upon him, to say to those he calls to the truth that this is his way which he calls people to, with insight, as do those who follow him. Guided by his guidance and following the Sunnah, and that he is not of those who associate partners with Allah, but worships Allah alone, glory be to him. Yusuf 12-108 Muslims are commanded to call people to Islam. The Muslims in general and the scholars in particular are commanded to call people to Islam, as Allah says, interpretation of the meaning. Let there arise out of you a group of people inviting to all that is good, Islam. And joining all maruf, i.e. Islamic monotheism and all that Islam orders one to do, and forbidding al munkar polytheism and disbelief and all that Islam has forbidden. And it is they who are the successful, al Imran 3-104. Let there be from you, O believers, a group who calls to all that is good and loved by Allah, instructing people to do what is right from the sacred law and from what you know to be good and just, and forbidding what is wrong, which is prohibited by the sacred law and which you know to be wrong and unjust. The people who do this will have complete success in this world and the afterlife. al Imran 3-104 The Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said, Convey from me even if it is, only, one ayah. Narrated by Al-Bukhari, 3461 Calling people to Allah. What is Dawah? Calling people to Allah is an important task and a glorious mission, because it means calling people to worship Allah alone. It means bringing them forth from darkness to the light, planting goodness in the place of evil and truth in the place of falsehood. Conditions of Dawah. Hence whoever does this needs to have knowledge, understanding, patience, forbearance, gentleness and kindness. He needs to give of his wealth and of himself, and he needs to understand people's circumstances and habits. Allah says, Interpretation of the Meaning. Invite, mankind, O Muhammad, to the way of your Lord, i.e. Islam, with wisdom, i.e. with the divine revelation in the Quran, and fair preaching, and argue with them in a way that is better. Truly, your Lord knows best who has gone astray from his path, and he is the best aware of those who are guided. al nail 16-125 Invite, O Messenger, to the religion of Islam, you and the believers who follow you, in a manner that is appropriate for the condition. Understanding and mindset of the person who you are inviting and with admonition that contains encouragement and caution. Argue with them in the manner that is best in terms of speech, thought and politeness, for it is not your duty to guide people. You are only required to convey the message to them. Your Lord knows best who has strayed from the religion of Islam and He knows best those who are rightly guided to it, so do not lose yourself in grief over them. al nail 16-125 Allah blessed His Messenger with the words, Interpretation of the Meaning. And by the mercy of Allah, you dealt with them gently. And had you been severe and harsh-hearted, they would have broken away from about you, so pass over their faults, and ask, Allah's, forgiveness for them. And consult them in the affairs. Al Imran 3-159 Due to Allah's great mercy, your character, O Prophet, was made to be gentle with your companions. If you were harsh in your words and actions and hard-hearted, they would have left you. So, pardon them their shortcomings with you and ask Allah to forgive them for what is between them and Allah, and ask their opinion in whatever needs to be agreed upon. Then if you decide on something after agreeing together, then go ahead with it, and trust in Allah. Allah loves those who trust in Him, giving them success and support. Al Imran 3 159. Calling to Islam in the Best Manner. The Daya, color, may be faced with debates in his Dawah activities, especially with the people of the book. Allah has commanded us, if it reaches the point of debate, to debate in a manner that is better, which is with kindness and gentleness, explaining the principles of Islam as they came. Pure and simple, in a kindly manner and with no element of compulsion. Allah says, Interpretation of the Meaning. And argue not with the people of the scripture, Jews and Christians, unless it be in, a way, that is better, with good words and in good manner, inviting them to Islamic monotheism with his verses. Except with such of them as do wrong, and say, to them, we believe in that which has been revealed to us and revealed to you. 
Arayla, God, and Uriala, God, is one, i.e. Allah, and to him we have submitted, as Muslims. al Ankabu 2946. Our believers, do not discuss and debate with the Jews and Christians to whom the divine books were revealed, except in the best of manners and most exemplary of ways. Inviting them by exhortation and establishing clear proofs. As for those of them who oppress by showing stubbornness and arrogance, fight them until they submit, or pay the jizya with their own hands while subdued. And say to the Jews and the Christians, I have believed in whatever Allah has revealed to us in the Quran, and in the Torah and Gospel that was revealed to you. Our Lord is one and so is yours, He has no partner in His Lordship, worship or perfection, and we submit and humble ourselves to Him alone. al Ankabu 2946 Reward of Dawah Calling people to Allah is a virtuous deed which brings great reward. The Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said, Whoever calls others to guidance will have a reward like the rewards of those who follow him, without that detracting from their reward in any way. And whoever calls others to misguidance will have a burden of sin like the burden of those who follow him, without that detracting from their burden in any way. Narrated by Muslim, 2674. Facing Dawa Challenges with Patience If building a physical structure needs effort and patience until it is complete, then building souls and guiding them to the truth also needs patience and sacrifice. The Messenger, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, called people to Islam, patiently bearing the persecution of the disbelievers, Jews and hypocrites. They made fun of him and disbelieved in him, they insulted him and threw stones at him, they said that he was a sorcerer or a madman. They accused him of being a poet or a soothsayer, but he, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, bore all that with patience until Allah granted him victory and caused his religion to prevail. So the Daya must follow his example. So be patient, O Muhammad. Verily, the promise of Allah is true. And let not those who have no certainty of faith discourage you from conveying Allah's message, which you are obliged to convey, Al-Ram 3060, Interpretation of the Meaning. O Messenger! Bear patience on the rejection of your people of you. Indeed, Allah's promise to you of help and establishment no doubt remains. Let not those who do not believe they are going to be resurrected, lead you to become hasty and impatient. Al-Ram 3060. The Muslims must follow the example and guidance of their messenger and call others to Islam, bearing insults and harm with patience for the sake of Allah. As their messenger, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, did. Indeed in the messenger of Allah, Muhammad, you have a good example to follow for him who hopes for, the meeting with, Allah in the last day, and remembers Allah much. Al-Azab 3321, Interpretation of the Meaning there has been for you an excellent example in what Allah's Messenger said, carried out and practiced, for he presented his own noble self and personally engaged in battle. So how after that can you be miserly with your souls over his soul? And only he who is hopeful of the last day, works for it and remembers Allah abundantly will follow Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him. As for the one who is not hopeful of the last day and does not remember Allah abundantly, he does not follow his Messenger, peace be upon him. Al-Azab 3321 The well-being and happiness of this Ummah are only to be found in following this religion. Hence Allah commanded us to convey the message to all of mankind, as he says, interpretation of the meaning. This, Quran, is a message for mankind, and a clear proof against them, in order that they may be warned thereby. And that they may know that he is the only one Allah, God, Allah, none has the right to be worshipped but Allah, and that men of understanding may take heed. Ibrahim 1452 This Quran, which was revealed to Muhammad, peace be upon him, is a forewarning from Allah to mankind so that they may take heed of the warnings and severe threats in it. And so they may know that the one who is obeyed in truth is Allah alone so that they will worship him and not associate any partners with him. Also, so that those with sound intellects will be admonished and warned by it, as they are the ones who will benefit from admonitions and warnings. Ibrahim 1452. And Allah knows best. Dawah through actions. Among the characteristics and morals which the day must possess is acting upon his own dawah, and he must be a good example of what he is calling to. He shouldn't be someone who calls to something and then leaves the thing himself. Nor should he be someone who forbids an action and then does that action himself. This is the condition of the losers, and we seek refuge with Alaya from this. As for the successful believers they call to the truth, act upon it, eagerly seek it, and hasten towards it. They also keep away from those things that they themselves forbid. Alaya, the Most High, says in the Quran, O you who believe! Why do you say that which you do not do? Most hateful it is with Ilayah that you say that which you do not do. Surah as Saf, 61, 2-3 O you who have faith in Allah, why you say, we did something, when in reality you did not do it? Like the statement of one of you, I fought and struck with my sword, whereas he did not fight and strike with his sword. It is a most attested thing to Allah that you say what you do not do. It is only appropriate for a believer to be truthful with Allah, and for his actions to confirm his statements. Surah as Saf, 61, 2-3 
and who is better in speech than he who invites, men, to Alaya, the Most High, and does righteous deeds and says I am one of the Muslims? Surah Al-Fusilat, 41, 33 This magnificent verse clarifies to us that the day must be one that acts righteously calling to Alaya, the Most High, with his tongue as well as with his actions as it is specified in the Quran, and, the one who, does righteous deeds. So the day must call the people with his tongue and with his actions, and there is no one better in speech than these types of people. They are those who call and direct the people to Alaya through their pure speech, actions, and whole conduct which make them become righteous examples. Similarly the Prophets, alayhim as -salam, gave da'wah through their speech as well as their actions and indeed through their whole way of life. Thus many of those who were being called, benefited more from their conduct than from what they actually said, especially the general people and those deficient in knowledge. So these people derived benefit from this virtuous lifestyle, and their behavior and their actions, to a greater extent than from mere speech which they may not necessarily have understood. So truly the most important task for the day is that he must have a righteous lifestyle. He must be righteous in his actions and possess a righteous character so that he can be emulated in his words and actions. Taken from Ali's Takama magazine, issue number 4, p.3, being a translation of some of the wasaya given by Sheikh Ibn al Athamin to the brothers in England. O oh my brothers, Dawah, calling to Islam, is to be done by your actions, as you are commanded to do it with your speech. However, Dawah through actions will be more effective than Dawah which is merely done with speech. So I say again, that those who practice ilm in the wrong manner, they will create a false understanding of ilm in people's view. Aliyah, the Most High, has said about those who invite to what is correct, but do not practice themselves. O oh you who believe! Why do you say that which you do not do? It is most hateful to Alaya that you say that which you do not do. Surah As-Saf 61-2-3